Thank you for tuning in to watch the video, and we hope that you find it helpful throughout your A3 ceramic steel flow installation. Before beginning the installation, be sure to read entirely through the installation guide provided. Also be sure to verify that the required equipment is available, the material provided is accurate, and adequate protection for finished floor surfaces is provided. If cutouts are required, refer to your technical guide for further instruction. Step 1. Start with a level line for the bottom profile. Be sure to allow a minimum of 1 8 of an inch space between the profile and the wall base molding. Mark the appropriate spots where the holes are going to be. Drill the holes and attach the profile using the anchors provided. You can refer to Table 2 in your instruction guide for profile dimensions. Step 2. Start with a leveled line for the vertical profile. Be sure to allow a minimum of 1 8 of an inch space between the profile and any existing wall. Once again, mark and drill the holes into the wall and attach the vertical profile. Step 3. Repeat steps 1 and 2 for the remaining profiles to complete the interior frame. Step 4. Before installing the first panel, locate the panel with the ceramic steel logo in the bottom right corner. This panel is intended to be the furthest right. Place the first panel into position and hold the panel into place with a temporary 8 inch piece of cover trim. The panel must fit against the vertical end profile and the horizontal bottom profile. Step 5. Insert the H profile into the side of the panel opposite from the vertical end profile by sliding the metal extrusion into the groove on the side of the panel. Depending upon the type of wall, either anchor directly through the flat part of the H profile or pre-drill the wall for the appropriate type of anchor. Step 6. Repeat Step 5 for the remaining panels. Place the final panel into position and hold it into place with a temporary 8-inch piece of cover trim. Step 7. Measure and miter cut the bottom and top horizontal trim. Don't forget to angle the corner pieces. Place the snap-on cover trim and install using a piece of soft wood blocking or a rubber mallet in order to avoid damaging the exposed finish. Start with the profile aligned with the bottom or top of the panel. Once the profiles are fixed, they will be difficult to remove without damaging. Step 8. Measure and miter cut the vertical snap-on pieces. Place the snap-on cover trims into place and install using a piece of soft wood blocking or rubber mallet. You have now completed the installation for A3 Ceramic Steel Flow. We hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.